In this video, you will learn how to use a Garmin tool that you didn't probably even know that you had, but it's super useful for achieving peak performance and reducing your injury risk. The really nice thing about this tool is that even though I'm talking about running because I'm a runner, this applies to every sport that you can track on Garmin. To understand how this tool can give you an advantage, you need to understand something about training first. The point of training is to stress your body. This stress then stimulates your body to create adaptations, become faster, stronger, fitter, build muscle mass, whatever it is that you're looking for. You are looking for the adaptation out of training. It is very important that the stress of training is just the right magnitude. If you do too little, it's not enough to stimulate your body to change. You're just gonna stay the same. But more is not always better either when it comes to training. Because if you do too much, you won't be able to recover from it. And if you're not recovering from it, you are not adapting from it and your injury risk rises dramatically. The goal is to find the Goldilocks zone. When you're in the Goldilocks zone, your training load is high enough so that it's stimulating your body to change very effectively, but not too high so that you can still recover from it. This is where a tool like the Garmin load monitoring tool can be exceptionally useful. And remember that later in this video, I will tell you how to use this tool to achieve peak performance for competition or a specific event. You'll find the load monitoring tool when you click down to the main selection, you go to training status, and then you're going to click down one time, and then it's gonna say acute load. The word acute refers to how much training have you done over the last seven days, and your chronic workload refers to how much training have you done on average over the last 28 days. It is established that you're going to be in the Goldilocks zone where you're making the best gains with the lowest risk of injuring yourself when your acute to chronic workload ratio is between 0.8 and 1.5. So if your acute chronic to workload ratio is less than 0.8, then you're not doing enough training acutely compared to how much your body is used to, so you're not making your best possible gains. But if your acute to chronic workload ratio is higher than 1.5, then it means that right now, momentarily this week, you are doing too much compared to what your body is accustomed to on an, a chronic basis. So you can find it when you click down to go to the main selection, then you're gonna click training status, you're going to go down one time and you're going to see acute load. You're going to click that and then you're going to click down one time and then you're going to click down another time. That is when you're going to see a number in the middle of the screen and you're going to see load ratio at the top of the screen. So mine right now is 1.0. Garmin also shows you your acute to chronic workload ratio in the form of this graph. The green zone represents your chronic workload and then the white dots represent your acute workload. The goal is to stay within the green zone and as long as you're following a properly structured program and training hard, you're applying progression, you're applying recovery weeks, you should see your green zone increasing over time. The white dot should hang around the upper edges of the green zone during your harder training weeks. Perhaps you should even go above the green zone every now and then to make sure that you're really pushing it. But then on your easier weeks, your white dot should come lower and lower and lower to the bottom end of the green zone. And this takes us to how to use this tool to peak for a competition or for a particular event. The thing about training is that training builds your fitness, but training also accumulates fatigue. So you're training, you're improving your fitness, but as you're doing this challenging training session, you're also accumulating fatigue on your body and that fatigue actually rises roughly at about the same rate as your fitness does. And what ends up happening is that even though you're training really hard, you might not notice big improvements in your fitness. You might wonder what's going on. 
Well, it's because the veil of fatigue is masking the fitness gains that you're making. So you're doing just right. You should stay the course. And then the idea with peaking or tapering for a particular competition or an event to make sure that you really show up on the day, ready to execute at your very best. The idea is that we strategically reduce your training load just before the competition in the week or weeks leading up to the competition. So now we lift the veil of fatigue from your shoulders and we allow you to truly express all the fitness that you've been building over the last couple of months and weeks. For example, I'm preparing for the Karanda to Port Douglas 60 kilometer trail ultra marathon this Sunday. Right now is Thursday and I have been reducing my training load this week. I've only been doing half the distance of my running that I typically do. My white dots has crept to the lower end of my green zone, which is exactly where I want it to be right now. Today's Thursday, I'm gonna take Friday and Saturday off. So it's very likely that the white dot is gonna go below the green zone. And that means that my acute workload is much lower than my chronic workload, which means that I should be very well recovered and rested and ready to push my body to its absolute limits and perform at my best capabilities. I'm gonna be making a video documenting how the ultra marathon goes. So make sure to check it out when it comes out. If you're interested, check out my social at Coach Pure on Instagram. If you found this video useful, would you please do me a favor, like it, share it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.